For your prelims paper, you definitely may have read about election commission, the appointment process of election commission, the powers of the election commission, the features and also the significance of the election commission. But now you have to read in some deeper manner because this election commission is very much in news because of the recent Supreme Court judgment and also the parliamentary bill which was proposed to have a consideration of search committee for the recommendation so as to appoint the election commissioners and the chief election commissioners so it's a very important topic and maybe this year prelims the question about election commission can ask because of many reasons first of all the election is in news specifically related to 2024 Lok Sabha election so maybe there is a question on it and the second thing is that this body remained in news since one year and very much frequent because the supreme court judgment and now parliament tried to adopt the judgment of the supreme court but the parliament tilted it in their favor or we can say the government tilted it in their favor so what is the issue we will discuss but tell me some of the important points the significance of the election commission so why there is very much importance of the significance of the election commission yes to ensure free and fair election as we are a democratic nation and this election commission have the responsibility to, to conduct elections of the Lok Sabha, President, Vice President, State Legislative Assemblies. Okay, and here fair and free elections should be there. Otherwise, it will go against the constitution. It will go against the concept of one citizen, one vote. Okay, that the very significance of election commission. And that's why if this is the scenario there should be independency in the appointment procedure of the election commission otherwise there can be the political interference okay that's why it's very important to have an independent status of the election commission and how the independency can be ensured one way is your appointment procedure if the appointment procedure is independent without interference of the political angle then definitely the autonomy of the election commissioners or the chief election commissioner come forward okay so here we will be discussing about the recent judgment of the supreme court but i have already discussed in detail like earlier supreme court in a judgment they given direction to the center or the central government that in the appointment procedure of the election commissioner there should be a selection committee and in the selection committee there will be three important people one will be the prime minister another will be the chief justice of india and the another will be leader of opposition party largest opposition party okay so earlier supreme court has given this judgment so when this judgment word came the central government via a bill they proposed the selection committee but with a tilted amendment what is the tilted amendment like there will be definitely search committee that will recommend the names of the election commissioner chief election commissioner okay but here the chief justice of india will not be here but in the place of chief justice there will be union cabinet minister nominated by prime minister so what will be the new composition in the selection committee prime minister union cabinet minister and leader of opposition so based on that the decision 
will be taken on recommending the names of the CEC. Okay, so tell me this two important personality belonging to government and decision is taken by majority. Okay, suppose the leader of opposition disagree with the name recommendation, but still the search committee recommendation can be passed because prime minister and the union cabinet minister can have the same viewpoint so that's why it's like indirect way of political interference okay so based on these accusations again some important experts legal experts challenge this bill to the supreme court again and now supreme court clarified that whatever the act central government brought from the parliament that is the cec and other election commissioners appointment conditions of service and terms of office act 2023 where the chief justice of india replaced with union cabinet minister so the supreme court declined to stay this new act and uh, now the next hearing will happen in april so try to understand that they have declined to stay this new law okay and the next hearing will be in april so it will be decided in april in simple terms okay but this procedure this new procedure of selection committee will go on so we have already talked to you that what's the procedure of appointment so you can understand like before and after so before means when this such committee procedure was not there so simply before this such committee procedure the president based on the recommendation of the central government okay president appointed the chief election commissioner and based on chief election commissioner's suggestion other election commissioners were appointed okay so that is the one thing but after the supreme court judgment and the act that we have discussed that is the cec and other election commissioners terms of office act 2023 after this what will happen there will be search committee comprised of three members where prime minister will be heading then there will be a cabinet minister nominated by prime minister and there will be leader of opposition okay so these three members will be in the search committee and they will try to find out the names and based on final agreement they will suggest the name to the president and then president will appoint that person okay so there is additional procedure which has been added now but in this article there is a saying that it may compromise the free and fair election because here there is exclusion of the chief justice of india because in the place of cabinet minister as the supreme court suggested that in the uh, search committee there will be the chief justice of india but government via bill they has replaced the chief justice of india with the cabinet minister so that is the issue and why this can compromise free and fair election because here in this search committee majority share is in the favor of government okay so that is the issue and we have already told you that it can compromise the free and fair election and it is also against the separation of power okay and try to tell me why it is against the separation of power and can you provide me the meaning of separation of power and do we follow much more deeper context of separation of power or the american political system follows the tougher 
separation of power so try to give the answer in the chat box we are ready to hear that and that is the issue friends hope you understood and there is a question for the glimpse and it is from pyq so try to pause the video solve and give the answer in the chat box we will be meeting on the next session thank you have a nice day